family, welcome back. Marshawn Olanio here, your favorite life and relationship strategist. And I help Christian women that are married or in long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and unloved and shift you to feeling hurt, understood, and appreciated. Now, you guys should already know my mission by now, but if you are finding me for the very first time, my mission is to decrease the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate one coaching conversation at a time. Now, if that sounds like something that you need improvement on or help with in your relationship, then definitely look down below. Click the link to sign up for your free 30-minute coaching conversation so I can help you get from where you currently are to where you want to be over here with your relationship with you first and then your romantic relationship second. Now, with that being said, we're going to talk about how to change your relationship around. And I'm going to give you four things that you need to look to do as well as implement within your relationship. How to change your relationship around. Sometimes we just don't realize that. No, sometimes we don't know what to do and how to change our relationship around. And so I wanted to make sure that you have an understanding of how to actually do that versus just saying, okay, I know what the concept is, but now what is the next step that I need to do to change it all around and why it's so very important to change things around, especially when they're going downhill. And that is because if you want your relationship to survive, if you want to thrive and live within a beautiful, successful relationship, then you must throw away boop, the bad stuff, throw away the toxicity, throw away the bad habits, throw away all of the things that are hindering you from connecting deeply with your spouse or partner. And the only way to do that is to know what's hindering you, and then literally, if you don't know what the thing is, then to do the opposite of what you're doing, right? So if you're yelling, screaming, cussing, fussing, fighting, guess what you need to do? Stop yelling, screaming, cussing, fussing, and fighting. Yes, it's going to be hard to contain and even hold your tongue, but if you want to change things around, now you must do something different because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results. And so if you want a better, if you want a different, if you want a more successful and healthy relationship, now it's time for you to admit and even say enough is enough and I'm going to do something different. And that difference is how you're going to change your relationship all around. Now, I literally had to change the relationship. Excuse me, something is on my nose. I literally had to change my own relationship around. And actually, I had to look in the mirror to say, you know what, Marshawn, you are not excellent in this area of your marriage. And so how do you want to be better? I want to be better by not just thinking, right? Staying in my head about the things that I feel need to be better in the relationship and not communicating. So there's that word again, communication and not communicating those things with my husband because none of us are mind readers. And so if I want to change something around, number one is coming to me, realizing that something is off for me. And then now what's the next step? So the next step for me might be to have a conversation with my husband. But I'm going to jump into the points right now. So the very first thing that I want you to do and realize that you can change your relationship around is to change the way you think about your partner. Your mindset plays a very big role in how your relationship is and what it is today. So you have to think differently about your partner as well as about your relationship in order to start to see things in a different light. Yeah. You have to think differently about the things that he or she is doing. You have to think, think, think differently about why he or she is doing them. But then you also have to think differently about their perspective, putting yourself in his or her shoes and about their intentions behind what they said, their intentions about behind what they did. So you have to think 
i.e. see your partner in a different light in order to start to change your relationship all around. So maybe, right, he's not doing something intentional like you believe. So in my own case, I remember when, um, before I had a conversation with my husband, um, he, he likes to bite the spoon while he's eating. And it drives me crazy because now you hear the, like he's ripping, he's like, he's scraping it across his teeth and that drove me bananas. And so instead of me internalizing that and starting to resent him whenever he eats, which we have to eat right? We have to eat to survive. So that would have been a lot of resentment being held onto as well as building up if I would have never had the conversation. So, and then I also thought thoughts, right? Because I'm keeping it up here. I thought that he was doing this on purpose because he knew it was irritating me. Well, one day when I finally was like, okay, Marshawn, you need to practice what you preach. And so you need to just have a conversation with your husband and figure out the why. Why does he scrape his teeth? on the spoon of course it's a metal spoon too right so then there's noises deep breath right so <laughs> i literally had to put on my big girl panties and say you know what babe hey i'm just non-judgmental right curiosity this is this is the key right here curiosity so when i went to it i was like hey i noticed that whenever you're eating you kind of scrape the spoon across you know your teeth why do you do that? Like, what's, what's going on with that? Because it's kind of noisy on my end, but I'm wondering why you do that. And um, literally, he was just like, yeah, I just like to hear the noise. He ain't say I'm doing it on purpose. He ain't saying I'm doing it because it irritates you. He just like, as a matter of fact, I know that I do that. I do that because I like to hear the noise. Period, point blank, end of conversation. And I was just like, oh, oh, so I ain't had nothing to do with me. So I need to get over and stop thinking that you're doing this on purpose. Oh, my bad. Okay, touche. <laughs> like literally simple as that. And, and the thing about changing your thinking around is that whenever you stay up in your head, you're literally destroying, in this case, your relationship. Because you're never getting it out. And guess what? We always come up with stories that benefit us that usually have nothing to do with the why behind why your partner is doing said thing that is annoying the crap out of you. It usually has nothing to do with you, but we are so sensitive when it comes to our spouse or partner because they get to see us in this light that we always take things personally. We always think that he or she is doing something on purpose to annoy us, to frustrate us. Never having the conversation so you can get an understanding of the why. So you must think about your partner differently in order to change your relationship around. The second thing that you must do is to implement new habits. As I mentioned, insanity. You cannot do the same thing over and over again expecting different results. You're, you're literally the definition of an insane person. You must say, okay, <sighs> my bad habit literally is holding things in, not using my voice. And so instead of you continuously not using your voice, continuously not speaking up for yourself, continuously holding things in, expecting for your spouse to be your mind reader, you must stop doing that. Now you must speak up. You must talk about the things that frustrate you. You must talk about, because, because we're, we're, we're great at talking about the great stuff. We're great at talking about all of the things that are going to keep the relationship moving smoothly. Not realizing that the bad stuff, the stuff that annoys you also is a part of making your relationship move smoothly. Because once you guys talk about them and hopefully you have a partner or spouse that's literally listening to you, that the things that you're talking about can be eradicated. No longer to talk about them again. Right? So now you have to implement new habits in order to get the new behaviors and the new 
um, um, obviously habits to be implemented into your relationship. You have to do something different in order to get different results. You have to stop with the bad behaviors. You have to stop with the bad habits in order for your relationship to change around. You must figure out what those bad habits are. And guess what? They're probably a lot easier for you to recognize. Think about what your spouse has been complaining about and then start there. Start working on the things that he or she constantly complains about with you. And start getting rid of that thing. Because if you don't have to hear that thing anymore, that thought process about your spouse will be better. But it's because you're being better. It's because you're being intentional and it's because you are helping to eradicate the bad stuff so your relationship can be great or good actually. Because if it's bad right now, you want to get it to better and better leads to good and good leads to great, right? So if it's bad, now you want to get it to good, right? Excuse me, better. And if it's better because you've been working on it, now you want to get it to good. And if you're already at good, now let's get it to great. And if you're at great already, let's get it to extraordinary. So you can be a part of the top 1% of couples that have extraordinary relationships. So new habits, number two. Number three, the way that you view your past and let those things educate you on what you should be doing and what you should not be doing anymore. Number three, the way that you view in your past, because that baggage that we carry along with us is the thing, or at least one of the things that is holding you back from changing your entire relationship around, from making it better to good, to great, to extraordinary. That baggage, you must eradicate that baggage. You must allow it to fly by the wayside, never, never to return again. And a way to do that is literally to talk to a coach like myself, talk to a therapist, talk to somebody that's very trusted. If you're not at this point in your relationship where your partner is your trusted, confident, confidant, where you can take anything to him, to him or to her. You must get rid of the things that hold you back in your past. And here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, most of the time you don't realize what it is because you don't know the questions to ask or the exercises that you must do in order to help get rid of that baggage. And it's okay. When you don't have the tools, when you don't have the education, when you don't have the information, you go and find it somewhere else. For instance, your degree, schooling, right? When we didn't know our ABCs, if our parents wasn't teaching us, we learned it when we got into school. And the thing about it is you don't know what you don't know, right? So if you don't know what's holding you back, now you got to get with somebody who can help pull that stuff out of you. And so if this sounds like something that you need, sign up for that free 30 minute coaching call so I can help you. If it's not me, sign up with somebody else, but get the help that you need so you can go from where you're at today to where you really want to be tomorrow and realize and recognize that this is a journey. Your past, what can you learn from your past as well? The things that you should be doing, which is the good, take the good stuff from your past and implement that into your relationship as well as the things that you should not be doing. Right? Like the name calling, the judgment, the making your partner feel bad, right? That pride and ego, all that stuff needs to be thrown by the wayside because you're two different people trying to come together, trying to be this perfect couple for one another. That does not mean that either one of you are perfect, but you're perfect for each other. If you get rid of the pride, if you get rid of the ego, if you get rid of the baggage, you get rid of the, um, the, the negative and bad habits, the, the bad behaviors, Getting rid of all that stuff is going to help you change and turn your relationship all around. So what can you use from your past that was good? And what must you throw away from your past that was bad? But get with somebody who can help you in that arena. 
The fourth and final thing is how <laughs> how optimistic are you about the future of your relationship? If you're very pessim if you are a very pessimistic person, period. And it doesn't have to be about your relationship. Just period. If you are a very pessimistic person, you are going to bring that into your relationship. And guess what? You're only going to focus on the negative, right? Remember, you got to change your thoughts about your spouse in order to change your relationship around. So if you're very pessimistic, you're going to always focus on the negative portions about your spouse. So you have to work on becoming a more optimistic person and the way your the future of your relationship is going to turn out because I hear a lot of clients actually come to me and they're wondering why the relationship broke up. But while we're taking a deeper dive into some of the things, that their, their belief systems and their thoughts and the words that they say, people don't realize how much power it is in their words. And guess what? They've been telling themselves the entire time that this relationship will not last. This person is going to leave me. This person is going to cheat on me. This person doesn't even think that I'm good enough. This person, this person, this person, not realizing that the things that you focus on are the things that you bring into, into fruition, whether good or bad happy or sad. So in this case, you've been focusing on the relationship not working out. Well, guess what? It didn't work out. But you had no you had no idea that the power is in your tongue. And so you helped yourself win. What do I mean by that? So whenever you speak to yourself, whenever you speak out loud and you're saying all of these things, your brain is not looking at whether this is the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do. Your brain is helping you win because your brain wants to keep you safe. And there's research behind this. So it's not just me making this up, but what, what I am trying to bring into your viewpoint is your brain is helping you win. So if you're focusing on this relationship is not going to work out, guess what? Even though it's detrimental to you, maybe depending on a lot of factors, your brain is helping you win. So the breakup happened in part because that's what you focused on and you already knew that it was going to break up. And so your brain is helping you win by the breakup. And I know that sounds counterintuitive. Look up the research, right? Look it up. Your brain wants to keep you safe. It also wants you to win. It's not a matter of good, bad, happy, or sad. It's just, I'm going to focus on this. Okay. So your brain is helping you reach that end point, helping you reach that destination. In this case, a breakup. So the power is in your tongue. The power is in your belief system. The power is in your thoughts. And if you want to change your entire relationship around, you have to be conscious and aware of how you are showing up and the things that you are saying, the things that you are focusing on. Those bad behaviors need to change into new behaviors. Those bad habits need to change into new habits, right? So all of these things that we are focusing on, you have the power to change it all around and don't even realize it. Start looking at your partner in a positive light. Changing the old habits into new habits. Being more optimistic about the future of your relationship. And what did your past teach you. So those are the ways to change your relationship around. Again, I'm Marshawn Olanio, your favorite life and relationship strategist, and I help Christian women that are married or in long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and unloved and shift you to feeling hurt, understood, and appreciated. Because my mission here at Marshawn O is to decrease the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate one coaching conversation at a time. If you need that coaching conversation, then look down below in the description box, click the link, sign up, and we will talk as soon as the date and time arrives. I love you guys, and there is nothing that you can do about it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.